Hello guys, Namaste. Welcome back to Android Tricks. As you have already read the title, this video is about the top 10 applications for the month of December. I recently skipped the month of November due to some issues, but here I am back with another video. In this video, I am going to collaborate with Suraj from Tech Devoted. He is an awesome creator and makes content on lens, cameras, and other awesome stuff which you might be interested. I link his channel down in the description box below along with his Twitter account. Make sure to follow him and subscribe his YouTube channel. With that being said, let's get started. The first step on my list is auto input. Face unlock is the next popular feature which every device will start having, but for now, those who have an old device, they can check if their phone supports the Google Smart Lock feature. If it does, then set up the face unlock and then install auto input. In here you will find an option to dismiss the keypad which will allow you to open your phone like the OnePlus 5T. As you can see it over here I do not have to swipe up on the lock screen of my OnePlus 3T. Yo what's up guys it's Suraj from Tech Devoted and huge thanks to Dharmic for having me. My first pick is Easy Scroll. What this app does is it automatically scrolls for you so when you install it a floating widget pops up on the side and with the help of this you can swipe up or swipe down and it'll automatically start scrolling in that direction. It's pretty nifty for apps like Twitter and Facebook. The next up on my list is called Hooks. It is one awesome application to get notified about everything you want. You can create hooks for anything you want, be it Bitcoin price drop, websites ranking or one which I would highly recommend is to create a hook to get notified about my videos which I upload on YouTube. YouTube seems to not send notifications a lot of times so if you have this application you will always get notified about cricket score, football score, YouTube channels etc. Bacon Camera is a manual camera app that's rather simple to use. Now for anybody unfamiliar with manual camera apps, these apps basically let you manually adjust all the settings like exposure, white balance, etc. As opposed to the auto mode built into your stock camera app that adjusts everything automatically. Now while Bacon Camera just like a dozen other manual camera apps supports things like raw format, histograms, time lapses, panorama, etc. What really sets it apart is it's free and it's good and that I don't get to say about a lot of the apps out there. It's definitely worth a shot. I often don't include wallpaper apps on my list but this application is surely going to help a lot of you in some or the other point of life. We all need stock images for presentation, thumbnails, posters etc and any wall which you download from this application is free to use even for commercial purposes. It is an awesome application and it has a lot of varieties which you can download. The link is down in the description box below. App Browser as the name implies is a super app that lets you try out other apps without actually installing them. While it doesn't have every app that's on the Play Store, it's got the more popular ones like Facebook, Twitter, Ola, Book My Show, etc. So it's got the essentials covered from pretty much every category. And the goal again here is to just have one app for the basics instead of having multiple apps. And the experience honestly is not half bad. It's of course stripped down, but I can totally see myself composing a Facebook post or booking my next ride or ordering food through App Browser. I am a big fan of OnePlus devices and I usually love the stock walls which they provide on all their smartphones. This application is your go-to place for getting wallpapers of any OnePlus devices. Right now I am rocking the wall of the OnePlus 5T on my device and it looks brilliant as you can see it over here. Unless you've been living under a rock, by this point you probably already know Bitcoin price has been skyrocketing lately and if you still haven't hopped on board or don't know how to buy Bitcoin, ZebPay is just the right app for you. The app is pretty straightforward and contrary to what a lot of you may have thought, buying Bitcoin is no rocket science. So open it up, register with your phone number, set up your PIN and now you can go ahead and press buy and purchase Bitcoin. Now obviously you don't have to buy a complete coin, you can buy a certain amount of bits and the app directly lets you type in the amount of Indian rupees that you're willing to invest so you don't have to do the math and calculate how much one bit is each time. So for example if I type out 5 lakh Indian rupees the app will tell me it's roughly 0.6 of a bitcoin so you just enter the amount you want to invest and press buy now. Now at first the buy button will be grayed out because you have to verify your account before you can actually make a purchase so to do that 
simply hit check status on the top and it will walk you through the verification process. Now to make this a bit more rewarding for you, go ahead and purchase your Bitcoin through my link in the description that will give you an extra 100 rupees worth of coins on your first purchase. The next step on my list is the game which I have been playing a lot lately. It is a badminton game with decent graphics and amazing controls. You can either play practice match or tournament and you will have to beat your opponent with some tactical thinking on how he will not be able to play the shot which you play. It's a fun game, link is in the description box below. Alright guys, wrapping up my list is Buckist. Buckist is a pretty straightforward bucket list app. Adding an item to your bucket list is as simple as hitting the plus icon and typing out the details. You can give your item a title, a category, target date, etc. To make it a bit more interesting, you can even give it an image. And if you're stuck in a block and just don't know what to put on your bucket list, you can even check out the inspirations tab that the app has. This basically shows you what other people are putting on their own bucket list. So in case you like something, you can add it to your own. Let me know your craziest bucket list idea in the comments down below. My craziest one is to make a trip to the United States exclusively to shop shoes. Maybe I'll be able to turn that into reality one day. But do let me know what yours is in the comments down below. I'd love to strike a conversation. So that's pretty much for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, I would highly recommend you to go and check out Suraj's link in the description box below. He has an awesome channel as I mentioned earlier. You will not be disappointed. Go ahead and follow him on his channel. See you guys in the next one.